Kick a touchdown sports. What's up, everybody? This is Kick a Touchdown Sports. I'm Bill White. With me, as always, Joe White, Therese Verrett. It is September 13th, 2020. So you know what that means. Week one, the first Sunday, we got real football coming at us. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We had a taste of it on Thursday. We got a little, uh, the Chiefs put a whooping on the Texans, as I predicted. They did. They did. They did. They did. Um, they did. The Texans didn't look good. The Chiefs look great. Um, that was an appetizer. Appetizer. We got the real deal now. Still a great game. Still it was a good great. game. So I want the main course, though. Yeah. Okay. I want it all. In okay. fact, we got some good games coming for us uh, today. Yeah. We do. Yeah, we yeah. do. Mm -hmm. We got some matchups that you guys, the fans, actually sent us messages asking us to go over some stuff. You guys got some questions. So um, we can we'll get right into it. Our first question is from actually Instagram influencer. The legendary. At New Orleans Jody. He has a question about the uh, Saints, so let's get right into it. Jody? Hey, fellas, over there at Kick a Touchdown Sports. I would like to know, do you guys believe that the Saints are still in the upper echelon of NFL teams? What's your take? That's a great question. Therese, what do you think about that? I think the Saints are definitely upper echelon. I mean, they're like, I think they're talented. a Super Bowl favorite. We should win it this year. Yeah. Still got Breeze. Still got Mike Thomas. Just paid Elvin Kamara. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? We got Emmanuel Sanders. Yeah. Uh, is Jared Cook still there? He's still there. Yeah. He's still he's there. Jared yeah. Cook. When he's healthy, he's a top 10 ish tight end. Well, not, many, not that many good tight ends. So it's not I that hard. But I think, I think we're good. I but think, the, yeah. the, the main question is be how they match up with the Buccaneers okay. through the whole True. season. And they're playing week one. Week one, yeah, I guess. Brady. Evans. Yeah. No, is Evans even playing? He might not be He's playing. He's questionable. Doubtful. Doubtful. Yeah. Questionable. So, yeah. I wouldn't count on Evans playing, but either way, we're going to see Brady. We're seeing Gronk. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fournette's yeah. making yeah. his debut. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Buccaneers have a brand new team. Chris Godwin. Yeah. Godwin. Yeah. He's yeah. not doing yeah. He's really good. Super yeah. team. They're like a super team right yeah. now. The Warriors of the NFL. Yeah. I heard that. The last time I heard about a super team was the Cleveland Browns. And, uh, See how that worked out. Yeah. <laughs> Before that was the Eagles with Vince Young. Oh yeah, uh, no, yeah, terrible yeah. team. Terrible. They were terrible. Oh, terrible. So let's hope it's not that. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think personally, the Saints and Buccaneers are going to be one A and one B for the whole year. They're going to be like two of the top in the NFC. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in they're in the NFC. Yeah, as long as Brady can be Brady of old there, then they're going to be a great team. Yeah, but do, do you see that happening? I personally. I personally don't think it's going to happen. I okay. think the Saints are okay. going to go all the way up, but who knows? The Saints, I believe in. The Buccaneers, I, it's, more of, I, it's more like I need to see to believe right. right. Yes. Because on paper, they, they, they look incredible. Yeah. On paper, they're yeah. small. They, they look yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But you still got to play the game. Exactly. Yeah. And the Saints have been there, done that. They yeah, still have the exactly. same core. Like, yeah, the same yeah. coach, yeah. same core. Back to won the Super Bowl a few years back. So yeah. I know the Saints are favorite three and a half this week against the Buccaneers. Yeah, yeah. they should be. Bill, who do you think is going to be the winner of that game? I would say I'm gonna go with the Saints. I think they're gonna beat by more than three and a half too. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, I I I agree. I think the Saints are gonna win by at least a touchdown. I would say between seven to ten points. I think they're gonna blow them out. Really? You think Who that? Blow out? Wow. Who that? Well, you're a Saints fan. Wow. I'm a Saints fan. so yeah. I'm a little biased. <laughs> a little biased. <laughs> little biased. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. How is the Saints defense? It's solid. We're not bad. No, they aren't that bad. Like because, got, I guess the run. Like we still got. Um, all right, all right. He struggled against the run last year. But we got better linebackers. When you guys are ahead, then people have to pass the ball down the field. Correct. And their, and their right. secondary right. is pretty decent. But if they get behind and the other team touch running the ball, you got problems. All right, well, they're a front runner team. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, you see who they're going against this week. We're saying Leonard Fournette's making his debut. I got it. This is his first game. It's his first okay. game. He signed a week ago. Yeah. yeah like, does he know the playbook? I know he's a running back. I mean, can the playbook be that hard? Bruce Arians. I just it's not that hard. I've seen. I've seen. I mean, and what's what's Fournette gonna do? Just run forward. Let's hope so. He's a train. You know what I mean? I like Fournette. LSU. I love. Yeah, LSU. I think that's all they do is run the ball. He's he's playing the Saints. Yeah. And well, we're, we're very good, Billy. Well, we'll see. <laughs> like, we're really good. That's right. All right. Well, hey, uh, we actually got a fantasy football question. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. about Warner Fournette. Oh, let's so see. So we see got what uh, well, we have Tommy in Massachusetts. So, Tommy, let's hear it. Kick a touchdown sports. What's going on? First time caller, long time fan. Who are you starting this week? Le'Veon Bell or Leonard Fournette? Let me know. Thanks for the question, Tom. It's a great, great question. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah. I would take, honestly, I would probably take Leonard Fournette. Yeah. 
I just would because More I'm excited. Because, because the Saints aren't that good against the run. That's why. Correct. The Saints, <laughs> yeah. My Saints aren't that good against the run. Yeah. And I just feel like Fournette will have a better game. He might get catches. I think Tom Brady will actually incorporate right. him into the offense as a receiver. Do you think the that, Jaguars never did? Do you think that Le'Veon Bell is even going to be? Um, I don't. I'm not big on Le'Veon this year. No, I'm not big. either. Not as a Jet in general. No. Do you think so? Is it just their running game in general, or do you think it's Le'Veon Bell? Uh, it's a rookie, but Michael Prine. I think it's a, pretty good. honestly a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think he was a system running back for the Steelers. System running back for the Steelers. I do. I think. I mean, I think was, Pittsburgh made. Did him. you see him? The way he can move. In, oh, in the, in yeah. the pile. Yeah. yeah. He can yeah. shake and bake right through yeah. there. But you, you play for the Jets. You should be a, like a featured player. He's not. Well, he was injured too a little bit last year, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was all banged yeah. up. I'm, I'm down to Le'Veon. I don't think, I think Fournette's more likely to get a touchdown than Le'Veon is, right? right. So therefore, right. on a fantasy value, I'm going Fournette. I yeah, going I Fournette. disagree. I'm going Le'Veon Bell. Wow. Oh, I think okay. Le'Veon Bell, I think Le'Veon okay. Bell is more... Um, knows the Jets playbook better than Fournette knows the Buccaneers. You know, okay. I just said it's not okay. that hard, but still pretty new. Hey, Bell's been there for a uh, fit your argument. Two, you yeah. Hey, whoever works, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, though, I think uh, Le'Veon Bell is in for a pretty good game. And uh, even though the Bills' defense is good, I think that Le'Veon Bell's gonna be getting his touches. Uh, if he can be, if he can be eighty mm-hmm. percent of who he was on the Steelers, mm-hmm. then it's gonna be better than. I think the Bills will shut him. Me too. Bills' defense is the big shut factor as well. Down. It's the Bills' defense, which is a top five defense. We know that, yeah. right? And then you got Le'Veon Bell on on the Jets. I guess what it comes down to is, do you think Fournette's going to be getting the amount of touches it takes to get decent fantasy points? It, it's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a lottery ticket. If yeah. he, if he does get the touches, you're gonna get a ton of points, and or he might just get nothing. You know, yeah. honestly. That if factor is the reason why I'm taking Le'Veon Bell. Okay, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm not gonna hate on no, it. No, I can't. I'm, I'm still riding with Fournette. Still riding with Fournette though. It's a, it's a great signing yeah. for that yeah. team. Absolutely. Great signing. So um, back to the Saints and Bucks. Uh, so yeah, I'm taking the Saints. Treasure you have the Saints. I got the Saints, of course. Joe, do you have Saints? I got the Saints. Saints, all right. Who that? Uh, so uh. Another another debut we have Cam Newton bringing his first start Big Cam. the uh, New Big England Cam. Patriots a six time very excited Super Bowl this. champion New England mm-hmm. Patriots no more Brady we got Cam there's so many question marks what is the <laughs> offense what are they gonna do who are the weapons yeah. who's the running yeah. back yeah. I'm super excited to find out yeah I want to know the answers yeah we're gonna find um, out speaking of which speaking of question marks we got a question from one of our younger viewers one of our younger fans yeah yeah we yeah. have uh. Jaden from uh, the Cape. Jaden, <laughs> uh, he's a good kid. Yeah, Jaden's great. So, Jaden, let's get to it. What do you guys say? I kick a touchdown sports. What do you think Cam Newton will do for the Patriots this year? That's a great question, Jaden. So, uh, week one, though, we got Cam Newton's playing the Dolphins. And, uh, yeah, easy victory. I think so. I mean, the Dolphins got a better defense. They got Kyle Van Noy over there yeah. from the Patriots. Yeah, he's still the Dolphins. Still Dolphins, but still, still week Dolphins. one against the Patriots. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a and no preseason with Belichick. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, okay. we're not asking about the Patriots. We're asking about Cam Newton Cam right now. Yeah. yeah. And I think Cam Newton's gonna have a good game. You think so? I think he is. I think he's got a lot to prove this year. Yeah. For, because Cam wants a new contract. Yeah. He's playing for himself. He wants his career back. He wants his career yeah. back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Whether it's on the Patriots in the future or whether uh, it's a team like mm-hmm. the Jaguars or somebody that's getting new one. He looks, looks really healthy. He looks so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. yeah. It's a matter of the step, amazing. though. Does he still have that step, that explosive? I think he does. That on the on top of it, coming at you, foot on the gas pedal. Yeah, like he's either gonna run over you or hungry. run through you. That's what it I've is. I've seen too. his interviews, yeah. his videos, yeah. his IG posts. Like he looks hungry. Yeah, I would I would bet on Cam. I would, I would bet on Cam I would too. To me, I'm too. thinking of Cam in Auburn. Like he's fine. He has to have that kind of fire. Everybody yeah. was like, "Get on yeah. my back. We're gonna win a title." Yeah. And that's the Cam I think we're gonna see. I mean, he's older, but that mentality, that Superman, yeah. that Superman, the that's real Superman, Superman Cam. Man. So if if you get that, which I predict we will get, they're gonna orchestrate this whole offense around Cam Newton. Yeah, you yeah. have to. There's yeah. no other way around it. Yeah. And if, if they do that, Cam's gonna he's gonna reap the benefits by far. I agree. I want to know agree. if Cam Newton's gonna be able to make some players better. On the Patriots, because yeah. I mean, okay. we have Edelman. You know, he's there. Edelman's he's kind of like old he, reliable. He is what he is at this. You point. know, yeah, but I mean, yeah. he's he's I, I'm probably the best they have right now. On the Dolphins. There's no Sanu. Sanu so uh, got booted. Yeah. He stinks. Harry's hurt. The kill. The kill. Is he hurt? Is he hurt? I think he was scratched from uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, training camp. The other practice. Yeah, he Jesus. was. 
I don't know. Maybe they just favor him. Oh, yeah, Jacoby Myers. What are you gonna get out of him? Yeah. Right? So I know it depends. So I'll be interested to see if Cam Newton can kind of like um, make a player. Into you think a he player. can overcome? Like, like you think yeah. he can overcome the lack of? Talent, talent. That's he has he had great talent. But it's not what Brady has. He had great talent. No, he has. He had Calvin Benjamin. He was great. He Calvin had Ball. Steve Smith. Yeah, uh, at the end of his, his career, career. Which he had Greg Olson. Hall of Fame. Okay, yeah, he uh, had. He had great. players. Okay, so he has, he has nothing now. He has yeah. Edelman. He You're saying great pretty loosely, so uh, I think great I, I mean, they're, they're not bad. He they're had world. better players before. He has not great players. Okay, now. Right. Calvin Benjamin right. stinks. Yeah, he has always stunk. But he had a good year with Cam. He was. He had a good year with Cam. Okay, so yeah. that's kind of making my point then. So he was able to make Benjamin to a productive receiver for at least one season. When, when right. Benjamin was into it, yeah, it was kind of a he had they both had to be into yeah. it because yeah. Kevin Benjamin yeah. stopped trying and it showed. He's yeah, straight down. Yeah. I think that Yo, Cam Newton is going to have to make the plays. <laughs> he got <laughs> way fast. He got slow. Huge. The Patriots have no running backs that we can speak of. Like they got James White, right? They yeah, got Sony Michelle. Michelle's not bad. No, but what is Sony Michelle? He's a, no, do you know who they're... Oh, what who's is their running back? Is it J.J. Taylor, the rookie, the little guy? Lamar Miller. Um, did, did, he he get, did he get cut? He got cut. They have nobody... J.J. Taylor's a rookie. He's a little guy. And they have um, Watch out for him. That's my take this Harris, year. Okay? Okay. Dark horse. So, Dark horse. I predict that Cam Newton is going to do... He's going to have a good game, and he's going to have to have a good game to win any game this year. And it's going to be yeah. Belichick's going to have to yeah. coach the best and Cam's going to have to play his best. Uh, okay, well, the Patriots are pretty decent defense. Yeah, but you can be points. A, but you can't manage a game. Like Brady's last few yeah, years, but a game manager. can run the ball. That helps. No, I know, but I'm yeah. saying that helps a lot. Well, my point is, sure. I think yeah. Cam Newton could, if he can be more than a game manager, then the Patriots can be more than a, um, an average team. Yeah, yeah. Because their their defense, like you yeah. said, their defense yeah. makes them. Okay. An, uh, I think their defense makes them team. makes them both eight and eight. Just, yeah. just because they're all right. Maybe like seven. I, I think I think them. Cam, a motivated Cam, gets them ten and six. Ten and six. I do. They're gonna need more than ten and six to. Uh, I would say. No, they can win division ten and six. Yeah, well, yeah, depends what the, the Bills, Bills do. Depends what the Bills. Do. I think. What's his name? Josh Allen? Yeah. yeah. Props. I think he too. Props. He stinks. Yeah. I think he kills him. He's a wannabe Cam Newton from 2015. I have a yeah. strong feeling that it's going to be a more... He's I, and first of all, I think we're not giving the yeah, Dolphins enough credit. Or, okay, we're talking about this matchup right now. Ryan Fitzpatrick, you don't know Fitz what... Magic. Fitz Magic, right? He can come out there and throw 450 yards on you. Devontae Parker. If Devontae Parker How torched him on you more. starts, though? At least game one. I don't care about that. Yeah, at least game one. And that's never talk to her. I would love to talk to her. I cannot wait for Tua. But Devontae Parker torched Stephon Gilmore. Week two. 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 Uh, Therese, who do you got? Patriots or Dolphins? Patriots are minus seven. Oh, I got Patriots. Patriots by seven. Plus more, ten. More than seven. Okay. I got them by ten. I got them by ten. I'm going to take uh, a push. Like, uh, I feel like that's... You think the Dolphins will win by seven? Yeah. 20 21. Basically, like yeah. It's going to be a closer mm-hmm. game than people think. I seven think... Perfect. I got the Patriots. I think the Patriots win by two touchdowns. I like that. Um, that's a big like ass. That. Because, uh, like Bel- that. Just because Belichick is going to do the old uh, defer two two possessions I in a row. I think he's super motivated. Oh, Belichick is all hell yeah. Super motivated. Oh, yeah. With Brady going. Yeah. If he starts off 0 2 and Tom Brady's 2 0, imagine that. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> all right. That's what else we got, too? What else we got? So, uh, another interesting game Ravens and Browns this, wow. this oh, weekend. Uh, one o'clock go. game. Ravens are favored by seven and a half points. And uh, we have one of our favorite viewers, Pat from Indiana, has got a question about this game. So let's hear from Pat. Okay, Pat. Hey, Kick a Touchdown Sports, got a question for you about tomorrow's game Browns, Ravens. Who gets more touches, Mark Ingram or Dobbins? Great question, Pat. I think because J.K. Dobbins is a rookie, Mark Ingram's going to get the more touches. And I don't know if he's going to get. I think Dobbins can do more with his less touches than Mark Ingram will do. I don't. I, I'm very down on Mark Ingram this year, and I'm very high on Dobbins. I just think Week One's a tough call, and I just think Dobbins is going to be, you know, down on the depth chart. But at least Week One and Week Two. Yeah, Bill, what do you think? I think. Um, I want to say Dobbins. I think Dobbins. Yeah. The way that the Ravens should do it is Dobbins is explosive enough where he should be the primary back. He should be, and then Mark Ingram should come in as a third down back mm-hmm. or the goal line. Um, because he's bigger and more of a bruiser, and you know what I mean? 
And Dobbins just give the ball and let him do his thing. He's it's kind of like what they did with Lamar Jackson, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It was just like I'm going with Ingram. You going with Ingram more touches? More touches. Yeah. I just I think he's he's a pro and he knows that offense already. I think Dobbins will come in as like a third down back. I'll catch a little ball or do whatever. Yeah. But I'm I'm still sick of it. Well gadget Ingram. play here. Yeah, yeah, the opposite of what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. like <laughs> little Kelvin Kamara ish. Yeah. I think that's how it yeah. Week one and week two, I think that's what it's going to be like. And yeah. like eventually, you can see Dobbins as the lead. Back, like right. you're saying. Right. I mean, eventually, eventually, yeah. 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 There was a training camp. camp. There's no training camp. There's no mini camp. No it's a different year. So yeah. Yeah. based yeah. off yeah. of that, I'd say Mark Ingram's going to get yeah. more touches, which I think he's going to do nothing with the touches. Oh, you're down. I think he's going to be productive, yeah. kind of. I don't think he's going to be productive enough. Not productive. He's not going to lead the league. I mean, he can lead the league in touchdowns. Yeah, because he's going to be a whole lot of their offenses. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, talking I'm, saying, I'm not saying that he's going to be the best running back. I think that he's always productive. Yeah, he's yeah. a good, if he's your yeah, what do you have last secondary year? running back, he's pretty good. Yards. He had a solid year. Yeah. He had a lot of touchdowns. Even with Lamar Jackson hitting 1,000. Lamar well, Jackson makes your whole offense different. I think yeah. the Ravens yeah. are going to win this game handily against the Browns. Oh, absolutely. I agree. So yeah. the Ravens are favored by 7.5. I got them by 14. By 14? Yeah. I hate the Browns. I hate Baker. I hate Baker Mayfield. The whole yeah. team structure. They need a rebuild. Oh, like, yeah, they do. Yeah. They should just have a dumpster fire. Yeah. They're they trying to the to the Saints. But they had a super Who team. They, they, they're trying to oh, make it a super team, and the super team is trash. They're a terrible team. It's not, you know what? It's they're terrible. They're bad coaching too. Baker Mayfield. No, got it's another bad brand play. coach. Like, come on. That quarterback. That, that coach. I guess we'll see them with their coach. We're gonna give give them a chance. No, no, I'm giving them no chance. I know for a fact Baker Mayfield is a bust, and that team is a losing culture. Okay, but not win. So, do you think that they're gonna be? Would it be good if Case Keenum was their quarterback? He's their backup. Honestly, maybe he's more of a system he's a quarterback. Pro. He's yeah. been there. He's been proven he's he's good he beat my Saints in yeah. the playoffs. Yeah. yeah, he's good. I would I, if I had to pick right now. If was he was through the pass to Dix. He was a yeah. beautiful pass. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, he's, he was winning with the shoulder pads though. Terrible defense. defense. Yeah. In case what do you got? He tried diving into. I think he saw a ghost. Oh, he's he's breaking like, my see, heart. Like, uh, him and Sam Darnold were out there seeing ghosts. So who are you taking, Bill? Do you think that? Oh, I got the Ravens by a million. That's an easy pick. So we're going Ravens, Ravens, It's going to be an entertaining Ravens. game because it's just fun to watch the Browns crash and burn into. I so love it. I think Lamar Jackson just Action Jackson. fucking destroys them. You think MVP, fucking destroys MVP them. again this year? Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I, I, think, I, think he'll be, I think he'll be the top one of the last three. I don't know if he'll win it. I, my, I, my, I, my pick would be Mahomes, I think, to win it. Yeah. Yeah. You also have Christian McCaffrey. depends on what he does this year. They I think it depends on his team. I think it's going to be a bridge running back. Right now. Well, it's, a big, it's a big question mark in Carolina. It is yeah, a big question mark. It's an exciting uh, team to watch. Yeah, the DJ Moore and everyone's pretty good. Right, Teddy Teddy pretty good. Good. Yeah, so we all got the uh, Ravens. Ravens. The Browns stink. So another, the 425 49ers are favored by seven points against the Cardinals. Okay. Wow. Cardinals. Okay. And we actually got a question from our, our viewer, Scott, from Kingston. He wrote to us. He said, Hey guys, I love the show. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Nice. Appreciate you, what Scott. a nice thing to say. Keep watching. Wow. What do you guys think about the Cardinals' chances against San Fran? Well, it's right to the point. I guess that's what we're talking. All, all right. right. Well, all right. All right. I think the Cardinals have a chance. Yeah. I think the Cardinals are. Uh, Kyle Murray's a little better. You got Hopkins. Hopkins is there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Drake's yeah, he is. But I don't think they're that chances are great. The defense. 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 It's the defense. It's so it is. Nick Bosa. It's Rich Richard Sherman. Yeah. They're coming at you. You gotta wonder, are they hungry because they lost the Super Bowl too? Are they gonna come back and bounce back going have the Super Bowl slump? Yeah, because I think that the, the, the players on the defense, especially the yeah. corners, have that yeah. tenacity. I do too. Richard yeah. Sherman's been there and done that. He's won yeah, multiple he lost the Super Bowl yeah. before. Yeah. You know? Um, they're due to, I, I would imagine they're gonna have a, a really good that, year. So it depends to me about uh, the 49ers offense and Jimmy Garoppolo. That's what I was gonna say. <sighs> Because I don't believe in Jimmy G. I don't believe in Jimmy G either. I don't, I don't think don't he's a big, I, I believe in Kyle Murray more than I believe in Jimmy G. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Kyle Murray is more of a all like he's more of a wild card factor. If Kyle Murray has yeah. a good game, uh, like if he plays to the best of his abilities, they do have a shot to win. They a shot to cover and a shot to win. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It'd be fun to yeah. see what Kyle Murray can do with weapons. Exactly. You have all reliable. You got Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah. Oh, now you got DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. Christian this Kirk. is probably the best receiver you'll ever play with. Yeah. Christian Kirk's a good number three receiver. He's a yeah. great number three receiver. And uh, you have Dre. Yeah. You have Chase Edmonds. Yeah. Uh, rookie in the backfield. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it just it, it wouldn't surprise me if the it wouldn't won. surprise me either. But 
I'm picking the 49ers. Okay. I am. I'm um, taking, I'm taking the Cardinals. It's a seven-point wow. spread. Yeah. Okay. I think the 49ers will win, but I think it's going to be like by like nine points. Nine, nine or ten points. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so. I you think, so do you think you got the Cardinals? Do you think the Cardinals are going to win? Or no, they not win. win. Seven? I feel like they're going to cover the spread. Okay. It'll be like a three-point game. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I don't... Now, I'm a huge Kyler Murray fan this year. Yeah. I've talked about him all in you know, a lot of our videos. I keep bringing him up, yeah. and I feel like this is the first. It's a great challenge for him, and I think Kyler Murray's going to answer the answer the call. Yeah, I'm confident. Now, do you believe he'll feed Hopkins? No, I don't. No. I I don't. No. I think he's okay. going to be more of just like a he's spread it, spread it out, and run. He's going to just okay. get it done. I think Larry Fitzgerald's going to have a good year this year. I do too. I hope so. I, I love Larry. Larry. I do too. He's, he's the most I mean, He's not done either. Like. Larry, he's Larry. got a lot left in the tank, it seems like. So I'm, I'm, think, so I'm expecting a big year from Larry Fitzgerald. I was waiting for him to hit the cliff like four years ago. No. So and he's, so no he's only there gone is no cliff. Like, yeah. He says consistency, consistency. That's what he is. Um, Larry Fitzgerald should have been a Super Bowl MVP. Yeah. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. The, the, the Steelers. Remember Steelers. Remember that long Steelers, run yeah. right in the middle of the field, but the thing, they left too much time on the clock. Yeah. yeah. They made a play. With a Santonio Holmes with the catch. Yeah. Ohio State, great. I like Santonio. Oh, I is. I mean, he was man. supposed to be good. He was supposed to be good. He wasn't bad. No, no, but he had so much. He had it was enough short. Talent. His career was short. But why was it short? It was all like uh, drug suspension and stuff like that. No, I don't remember it that. Just phased out. It just gone. It's gone. Wow, because yeah. I was so high on Santonio. Phased out. That catch yeah. with the toe drag in the end zone. Yeah, wonderful. That was great. He was yeah. down to the roof. Yeah, phased out. Mm. All right, so is that it? So, uh, yeah. So this has been another. Great episode. Great, great episode. Sports. Thank you for your questions. Yeah, thank, and we then, appreciate um, the support. Absolutely. And if anybody else is watching has some questions that we can answer, we're going to be putting on another show this week sometime, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. then we're going to have another show coming out. Every Sunday morning, we're going to have a, a, a football show. Football preview. Football preview. Fantasy. Football. Fantasy. So if any of you guys have questions, you can yeah. um, send them to the Instagram at Kick a Touchdown Sports. You can send them to our Twitter at Kick a TD Sports. Mm -hmm. You can leave them in the comments below. And, uh, Thanks a lot. We really appreciate it. We love all the support. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, like we said, comment, follow us on social media. So that's it. We appreciate it, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you, everybody. Enjoy the week one. Yeah. Have fun. So, y'all be sweet. Peace.